Hi y'all! It's Diana from Simple Delicious World and um, I thought I'd do a video today as things are falling all over about um, I just about have hit a couple of firsts and then this video is going to be about some firsts for me. A little update of um, tomorrow will be 30 days of me not working a full-time job the doing the nine to five that I had done for 11 years. So that's so exciting. It doesn't seem like that long at all because I've been so busy and everything's new and lots going on, lots to move in, sell a house, get the motorhome ready. Um, so all these preparations going on for me to hit the road. Um, so these last 30 days have been a lot of change, to say it lightly and a lot of um, just busyness. So the last couple of weeks that I've been on the road, I have been settling into this lifestyle and just kind of unwinding from the old one and getting used to things. That's Triscuit playing with this toy. Um, so it's been two weeks since I've left Seattle and um, hit the road. And I've been mostly in Southern California the last, um, I think, two or three days. I've been in Northern California in the Redwood Forest area. And I'll also share that it's been pretty much except for two days ago, Friday, Saturday, I guess. It's Memorial Day weekend. Um, I've been in the rain almost always because we've been on the Oregon coast and now I'm back in Humboldt County and we had a lot of rain last night. So I um, guess I'm bringing the rain with me from Seattle. Hopefully I break out of that soon because I am ready for some warmer weather and um, different. I'm ready for different and new. So um, I wanted to share some other firsts with you. Um, I have not yet used a public toilet, which none of us really like to use a public toilet. That's one reason I chose to go with an RV is because um, I could have my own space to stop wherever you are, fully self-contained, clean, and um, easy. So uh, that's one first. No public toilet used yet. Um, my other first is I have not eaten in a restaurant yet. I have um, succumbed to the temptation of gas station corn dogs. Three times, I think. So that's a little weakness of mine, and it's not typically something I eat, but I have a weakness for it. So uh, there you go. But no other restaurants, no other eating out. I've been cooking all my meals in the motorhome. And um, as I go along on this journey, I'm going to be sharing more of that. And one of my challenges, and it was even a challenge when I was um, living in an apartment, is I tend, I love to cook and I love to eat, but I tend to buy too much and cook too much, and then I have to eat it for two or three days. So um, <sighs> trying to learn how to cook a little bit more often, more often. So you'll see some of the tips that I use for um, dealing with that, being single woman on the road, cooking all my own meals, how do I do my food prep, what do I buy, what do I eat, um, how do I keep from eating the same things all the time, how do I mix it up, and, um, and I'm excited when I start woofing, working on farms and stuff, um, what exciting products and produce and things I'll get there to work with. And I'd love to share some of that with you. So this is a, a little bit longer because I wanted to do some updates and this is my first video. So I hope that Triscuit's not messed up my other notes. I wanted to share some other first. Um, I've been, I boondocked my first night actually because there was so much traffic getting out of Seattle I got into Oregon. I wanted to at least get into Oregon from Seattle um, my first night on the road and didn't know what I was doing really, didn't know where I was going. So I ended up in, in a parking lot and not one that I was probably supposed to be in. It was an American Legion parking lot 
um, of their of their little headquarters and in a very small town in Oregon just by the Columbia River Gorge and so I boondocked once I stayed in campgrounds which um, are expensive they're like 55 bucks a night but you do get full hookups electric water and sewer so that's actually what I did last night again because I needed um, well it was it's Memorial Day weekend so I didn't want to risk going to a state park and not being able to find anything I also had laundry to do and um, it was raining and so Wi-Fi electric you know all the comforts of home so I had done campgrounds two different campgrounds and state parks and I'm really liking the state parks. some of them can be kind of expensive too if there are hookups there are, I paid $35 if there are no hookups which you call dry camping not necessarily boondocking I don't know I might be mixing up these terms dry camping is when you don't have any hookups at all like no water no electric so you're just dry if you're self-contained um, and I did that for two nights by the Smith River and that was only 15 bucks a night and that's a deal and it's totally doable because I have gas um, and I'm learning that I had enough battery to like the lights still work on the the basic battery you just don't have any electric outlets and so my refrigerator and my stove work off gas and there's a water pump so you, I have fresh water um, on board and so it worked fine. I just don't have electric outlets, but I have other ways to charge things like charging them through the coach battery. And, um, so I'm learning all these things and it's really fun to learn, um, what you need and what you don't. And, and that's one reason why I call my, my channel, the simple, delicious world. It's about living more simply. It's about eating simply and deliciously. And it's about discovering the world. And that's why I quit my job. That's why I sold my house and car and bought this RV and paid off my debt. And now here I am on the road with my dog and cat. You saw Trisket, Josephine. She's doing great. Um, she does still hide when we get going. There's a little cubby hole where I keep my shoes down here by the front door. And she just puts herself away in there and she's there the whole duration of the why we're on the road and then when we get where we're going I let her know and I pull her out and she's like okay it's cool Ian we're not moving <laughs> so um, maybe she will venture out eventually if she gets more used to it um, but maybe that's fine you know she puts herself away she feels safe and um, it's also we've been on a lot of um, the coast roads are curvy and like this all the time and so uh, it's not like freeway driving where she might be more comfortable being out when we're on a smooth, straight road, <laughs> if that ever happens. It's been a little bit of white knuckling me um, in this. It's a 25 foot motor home and it drives really great and it's pretty easy to maneuver around. But um, on those really high, steep, curvy coast roads that are narrow, and I've been a little bit of white knuckling it. So this video is getting a little long, so I'm going to cut it there, but I'm having a great time and um, in a couple of days, it'll be two weeks on the road and tomorrow it'll be 30 days. I'm not working. Woo! So thanks for checking out my channel. Please subscribe. I will be doing at least, I want to do videos two times a week and always check me out on Instagram. That's where I'm putting up a lot of stories and you can see more of the daily snippets of my trip. But I would let, I'm going to be giving tips and tricks for living tiny, simply, and as a solo female, which um, I've not had any problems with yet on the road. So I'd love to have you along for the ride. You can also check out my Patreon page. Um, where you can get more in detailed personal stories of the inner, the inner story of all my um, journey and extra bonus footage of where I am and what I'm doing, especially when I get to the farms, there will be more detailed um, showing you what I'm learning on farms. So 
and more of my story why I'm doing this. That's all on the Patreon page, patreon.com at Simple Delicious World. And I think there's dots after simple dot delicious dot world. And so check me out there and I'd love your support. I love having you behind me and here with me in the driver's seat. Um, it really does help to know that I am still in communication with friends and family and making more friends. So check it out. Ciao guys.